Hey guys, I'm back. I'm in my craft room and I finally have something to show you. Now, um, right off the bat, I'm going to apologize and say that it's not quite as much as I had wanted to show you for the first segment, but that just means there's going to be more videos and there's a lot to show you today anyway. So, um, it's not that I haven't been working. I have. It's just for some reason, there's just, well, I know why. There's just so much stuff in this room that I have dumped here for the past, like, three years. And so many little piles of things that I've been going through and I'm still going through. And I just seem to continually find more and more and more piles of things. Um, but I did finish, as I had um, said I would on my first, like, introduction video. I did finish my, um, like my furniture placement, the, I finalized that, so that's all done. I did that initially. And then I did finish what's going on my walls, like 95% that's done. Um, and then the last thing is I did finish my main desk drawers. And I did also complete, um, so I don't know if you remember from my verse video, but I have um, in like a corner, a really long corner desk. Um, and that's like my main desk. And then um, on an adjacent wall, I have these other two desks. And I had said one is my sewing desk. And I said the other one might become my um, makeup desk. But I actually did find a vanity that I love that fits beautifully in my room. And I'm going to do a whole video on that because it's huge. And on my makeup collection organization, I have a ton of makeup. So I'm going to do a whole video on that. And that's for next week. Um, so you can look forward to that. But I saw that other desk that I have that's right next to the sewing desk. I turned into my dog's grooming station. Um, I know Winnie, my dog Winnie, is a Shih Tzu. Um, and she's been featured on this channel a couple of times, but if you haven't seen her, she's very hairy. I'm keeping her long, and I groom her twice a day. Um, and by groom, I don't mean like the whole bath and all that, but I brush her out very thoroughly at night before we go to bed. And then in the morning, I do um, a more thorough, what I call a grooming, which... Um, involves brushing and combing and using the conditioning, detangling spray and putting up her hair and, you know, cleaning her eyes and her ears and her clipping her nails and all that when I need to. Um, but I'm going to do another video on that section because uh, I just think there's too much to do today and I've already been talking forever here. So, um, <laughs> what I'm going to show you today is my main desk, which is my corner desk, and um, the top, the counters, and the shelves are not the way I want them to be. They're still a little cluttered looking, um, and I'm just still working through everything, and I feel like I won't have that finalized until I've done the whole room and I've put everything away in every aspect of the room. And I think that's just why things are still a little cluttered. But the, the interior of the drawers is done. Um, and there's quite a few doors. So I'm going to give you a little tour of that right now. Um, and also to let you know, I have not decided what to do with the, um, the project desk that I'm sitting at right now. Um, it's got a bunch of cubby holes on each side, and I haven't quite figured out what to do with those yet. But I'm going to show you my desk, my filing system, and what I decided to do with the wall, even though it's not finished yet. And then when I do a final tour at the very end of this never-ending project, then you'll see um, how I finished my um, countertops and shelving. So, let's take a look. Okay, I'm just going to stand back here for a minute to give you an overall view. Um, in the middle here is my project desk. And like I mentioned in the intro, um, I have not completed yet what's going in all those cubby holes and how I'm organizing that. Didn't quite get that far, but I'm very pleased with the progress I did make. Um, finalizing this arrangement, I'm pretty sure I had my furniture arranged like this in the um, before tour video. Um, and yes, it's still pretty cluttered on the countertops, um, but like I said, I haven't quite been able to do that yet because I haven't finished 
um, the whole room. I need to get everything organized where I'm putting it. But you can see I've installed, well I didn't install, I had my handyman actually install these shelves and move my wrapping paper centers over to this wall by the closet, which is a mess so I'm not going to show you the closet. But um, if you remember I had those wrapping paper stations on this wall before. Um, and I really wanted these shelves. They're from Pottery Barn. Hmm. I'll uh, I'll put the information in the um, you know in the box below about what they are because I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, but they're just a, a basic floating shelf. They match perfectly the paint of my desk and the wrapping paper stations because they're all from Pottery Barn and they're all antique white. Um, so like I said, I haven't quite figured out. The final, like, way my shelves are going to be with the stuff on them, I mean. But um, this is a general idea. <laughs> um, you can see Mickey and Minnie up there. <laughs> Those were a gift from my husband when we were at Disney World uh, in early December. But uh, basically, it's just decorative. There are some, um, those three white Ikea boxes up there. And I do have some, like journals and loose letters and pictures and those and they're labeled but I think I'll probably show you more about the shelves on the um, finale, the finale, <laughs> the final tour video. Um, but just like pictures, some tchotchkes, things I don't really have a place for that I, I don't really want to clutter up my um, countertops that much so but I like to have these things out, memorabilia, things that I like um, all my little owls. I still have to figure all of this out. And you can see here I even have a little basket of owls because I just don't know what to do with them. But I'm actually hoping to invest in a really high quality um, photo printer to sit next to my um, Canon all-in-one office printer. Um, this is the MX870. I love it. It um, scans, it copies, it faxes, it Take, it prints beautiful um, photos as well, but I want like a specifically four photos uh, printer that can print up to, you know, the big photo prints and that'll go there eventually and the little basket of owls will have to go somewhere else, but at any rate. So that's how I flushed out the wall system and I did get a couple more of that daily system from Pottery Barn, the um, calendars to put over here so I have two months at a glance. And I do most of my calendar stuff on um, iCal, which is a program that you use through Apple. But these help me with holidays because um, I haven't quite... I'm, I'm getting like kind of bad at remembering birthdays and stuff since I transferred from paper calendars to, um, you know, a digital ca uh, calendar. So this just helps me with holidays, um, and I basically just put holidays, birthdays, anniversaries, um, travel dates, and yeah, that's it. And what I like about these is that, uh, I don't know if I can show this, but see it's on this telescoping rod at the top. They just slide off, so um, on either end. So I can slide, so it's still January, but just for a few more days. So once January ends, I will slide that calendar off, and then I'll slide this February calendar off, and I'll put the February calendar over here so I don't have to rewrite the whole thing, and then I'll just write March over where January was, if that makes sense. Anyway, and there's just a little bulletin board in the middle. And then um, I did buy this little round magnetic um, I guess it's a magnetic board. You can't write on it. And it's got some magnets on it. And then under my wrapping paper stations, I put two magnetic strips. And that's helping me keep track of, like, save the date cards. There's a lot of weddings going on um, the past few years. Save the date card. There's our Christmas card. Me and the husband and the dog. Pretty cute, isn't it? And, uh, you know, little things that I need to have out and um, that I don't want to lose sight of because out of sight, out of mind. Trust me, I know how that works. So here is my corner desk, my main desk. And um, I did get that 
gosh, I don't know the name of it. I don't seem to know the name of anything in this video, but that raised thing, I don't know what to call it, this like platform with the different drawers and cubby holes and things to put my um, iMac on top of, which is very handy. And then, at the end of my counter space, this is more, I want to keep this really clear for projects because I'll lay out a lot of projects on my um, desktop counter, um, and, but then I'll also need an additional space. So this will probably even get less cluttered. I might move my paper cutter somewhere else. At the end there, that's my paper cutter. I have a hot water machine thing and some mugs. Different kinds of tape, nicely labeled, of course. <laughs> and me and my label maker, I'm crazy. And then different kinds of pens, candy. Oh, I have to have candy everywhere. Different kinds of scissors, hole punches, etc. Then, up in my wrapping paper stations, you can see I have um, wrapping paper for winter, because it's still winter. Different kinds of ribbons. These are all ribbons from the Paper Source, actually, which is a really cool store if you've never been there. And it's a really high quality ribbon. Um, so whenever I go, I, I tend to pick out a couple of rolls and add to my collection. And I still haven't quite fleshed out how I'm doing this at the top, if I'm going to keep those pens in those containers or move them into those glass jars instead or, or what. But this is basically like my current wrapping paper. If I'm going to wrap any gifts right now, it's going to be from this set. Um, I do have other kinds of wrapping paper but that I swap out for different holidays because I'm that kind of person. But um, And if I need it, I can get it to my closet. But again, that will be flushed out in my future videos. So, I'm going to start over here with the drawers, which is the main organizational focus of this video. I decided to make the end of this desk, since it's right under the wrapping paper station, be, um, you know, wrapping paper based. So, in the farthest over top drawer, I have bags. Um, lots of different little gift bags. Um, because sometimes you just don't want to wrap the present or it's awkwardly shaped or something, so that's what's in that drawer. And then in the bottom one, there's more bags, and these are more um, elaborate, like decorative bags for certain, you know, mom or birthday or whatever. And then on the side, in these little bins from the container store, I have tags. Um, these are like bows that you kind of pull out and assemble yourself. And then these are little... Um, you know, gift toppers that I pulled off of packages that were given to me that can be reused. So like ribbons that are curled nicely or little things that you might tie on to a gift. So that's the first two drawers. And then I have a lot of ribbons. I'm like a little obsessed with ribbon. I'm a little obsessed with a lot of things, but I have so many ribbons and I had so much trouble for so long figuring out how to organize them and this is the best thing I've come up with and it's really really nice. So I have these clear shoe boxes from the container store of course and I've just organized my ribbon in them by type um, and by kind of by use. So this top drawer is ribbon I would probably mostly use for gifts um, or projects that would involve like wired ribbon or something and then in the drawer below it this is all ribbon I bought specifically to make bows for my dog, and I have not had a lot of time to work on that, but I have a lot of ribbon to start, so um, you can just see I have them kind of organized. This is like plain ribbon underneath was polka dots and gingham. Here's um, pattern ribbon and then holiday ribbon. So I hope to have time once this room is to complete to make some bows for her. Um, but this just, I like having this stuff in here. I didn't need these drawers for filing or anything. Uh, so that seemed like a good use of that space. Now we're at the desk portion, and I use the, door, the drawers, the doors, the drawers immediately surrounding my chair. I'm sorry if I'm rushing, but my camera's running out of battery, and I don't want it to run out before I'm done. Anyway, um, the drawers immediately around my, my computer are just for, you know, desk stuff. So in this top drawer, to the left of my chair, I have uh, backups. So backup labels, backup, um, you know, extras, I mean. Extra um, binder clips and paper clips and staples. There's extra notebooks. 
And again, I'm using the um, clear shoe boxes from the container store because there's pens. They just seem to fit really well in these drawers. I can't get these metal things out. This is for filing specifically, you know, hanging file folders, and I can't get them out. I wish I could, but um, I'm afraid I'm going to damage the desk if I try to, like, force them out. But they fit in around them, so it's all right. And then in this bottom drawer, um, these are extra folders that I might use, like I use up in the um, desktop filing system. Um, sheet protectors, uh, other kinds of extra folders, blank CDs and DVDs, clean stuff for my keyboard and computer and electronics, and then no cards, sort of desktop organizational things, <laughs> an extra lotion. Um, and I did forget to show in this little drawer here. Now, my iMac doesn't usually is downstairs during the day. It only comes up here at night to charge. I keep it in the kitchen um, during most of the most days. So usually it's even less cluttered on the countertop. But in this little drawer that came on this little, I don't know what to call it, um, thing, I keep all my electronic necessities that I don't want, that I want within, you know, arm's reach of my computer. So this is my, this is actually my, like, running, my Garmin GPS watch, which I'm not doing a lot of running right now with my leg injury, but, um, extra cases for my iPhone, um, external hard drives, my DVD drive for my, uh, Air, cords for the computer to hook up my camera and my iPhone and iPods, other iPods, um, camera, charging devices, extra battery, extra storage cards, and uh, my little camera. And then I would keep my little G, my Canon G11, which is what I take most of my blog photos for my WinnieTheZoo.com blog with. Um, I would keep it in there, but I use that camera every day, so it just kind of floats around. So, and I would normally be using this watch a lot more often, but not for the past few months and not for a little while longer. So that's that side of the desk. Whew, like going at breakneck speed here. And then this side is really the use all the time functional side. So this is the drawer I keep all my different size notepads in, sticky notes, address labels, um, my old calendar for birthdays and stuff. Uh, and then my little catch all corner where I just keep business cards, um, you know, eraser, staple remover, paper cutter blah 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 things like that really boring um, and in this drawer I have different size envelopes extra checks my checkbook um, other checkbooks these are I keep my calendar pages every day you know I like tear them off the where's my day-by-day -day calendar there it is my day-by-day -day calendar and I've had a Mary Englebright day-by-day -day calendar for like 10 years because I love Mary Englebright but I keep them because I keep thinking someday when I catch up with all my scrapbooking I'm gonna use these like on the special days. I don't know if that'll ever happen. But, um, and I, again, I'm using these clear drawer dividers from the container store. Love these. They are awesome and so versatile. And then I just have in these little, um, plastic boxes, binder clips, um, paper clips, and, um, uh, push bits. Then, in the bottom drawer, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I couldn't figure out what to do with my paper for the longest time and I'm really happy with this solution. So this is all my printing paper and normally I would have more white paper but I seem to be running low so I better buy some more of that. But specialty printing paper, my different colors of paper, these are all labels and I organize them by type. You know they're like um, label type. So I can just pull them out. This is all photo paper photo paper and extra ink for my wonderful printer. So that's that. Now we're on to the filing which is the last component. And um, before I had my filing in two of these small drawers when I was had my desk in the sorry in the other location as I showed in my before tour but um, since I moved it to these longer filing cabinets it's just gotten a lot less cluttered. So in the top you can see 
I have, this is my main filing. And um, the purple is all stuff to do with the house. The blue is all credit cards and um, like club memberships, like to the gym and stuff like that. And then the dark blue is all other financial things. And it is past the first of the year now, and around this time every year I will go through and take out all the paperwork from the last year and file it in the drawer below to make room for the next year's stuff. And I keep this kind of paperwork for, depending on what it is, but I go by this little chart that I got from Real Simple Magazine a few years ago. But, you know, it tells you kind of what to hold on to. I keep things for about 10 years, it seems like. And tax returns, stuff like that, I keep forever. Um, anything to do with um, our purchasing real estate, stuff like that, I keep forever. Never throw that stuff away. But, like, receipts you know, monthly bank statements, that stuff, you don't have to keep forever, maybe just a few years. Um, and then in the back section here, I have, um, in the maroon is like personal information, so that'd be like health, um, you know, school, old school stuff, stuff for Winnie and the vet, things like that. And then the gray is sort of like household, like appliance sorts of things, there are cars, um, things of that nature, where I keep like important receipts from like art we've purchased, stuff like that. So, loving having this all in one huge drawer. It's just, I sit at my desk and I do my bills and I just keep that drawer open and I file everything right away. It works beautifully. Highly recommend it. And then in the bottom one, the only problem with these drawers is you can't open the one if, one if the other's open, if that makes sense. So if like the top one's open, you can't open the bottom one. I guess it makes sense so then the furniture doesn't like tip over. But at any rate, in the bottom one, this is where I have my backlog. Um, and, you know, eventually this might get moved into a different area. And eventually I'll shred some of this stuff. Whew, well that was a whirlwind. And that's basically it. Uh, I didn't go into too much detail on my shelves and stuff because like I said, I'm not done. Um, and you can see I'm not done because I still have little baskets full of stuff and I introduced my basket system in my last video. Well, I'm still using a basket system, obviously. I have all that paperwork still to go through in that little blue bin of stuff that I have to organize into my closet when I get to that part of the project. But um, eventually I hope not to have such a full bin at any given time. I kind of would like you know, things to be processed, filed more quickly. But for right now, I'm still mid-project, so it makes sense. And I'm just going to show you. Underneath my desk, I have um, two bins. They're two superhuman trash bins. Um, that one on the left is for trash, and the one on the right is for recycling. So it's right at my feet, and I don't have to, like, go to the middle of the room to throw things away into the other trash and recycling bins. And then I have these big blue bins on casters, which I haven't quite figured out what I'm going to do with yet. It's such a large amount of space under the desk that it seemed like a waste not to use it, but, and I already had those blue bins on casters, so I think they'll probably stay there, but I'll let you know what and if I decide to use them for, so, um, that'll do it. Uh, stay tuned. I'm going to be continuing to work on this room, but the next projects up will be my vanity, and I'm going to do a What's in My Handbag video because that's been requested, and uh, start on some other projects. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.